my name is Randall Barrett, and I'm from Southern Oregon. I've lived here over 30 years. And the reason I'm here is because I'm really disappointed in you commissioners. And personally, you might be great people, but when it comes to this smart meter issue, there are some serious issues here. You were appointed to protect the people, not to protect the corporations, and to protect our rights, and to not let the, our constitutional rights be violated. And this approval of these fees, which I will call illegal fees, and I can prove that they are all illegal, and the forcing of computerized invasive devices onto our homes against our constitutional rights to protect our home space, that is going to be the basic uh, fundamental thing that's going to be discussed as this gets into legal battles. That is going to be what we're going to try and push to the U.S. Supreme Court, is to have a decision made that will affect nationwide about these computerized devices being forced onto our homes against our will. Now, as far as this a $36 fee, I'm not going to talk about the 137 just a $36 fee. Why do I keep saying that it's illegal and how can I prove that? Well, I have a document here, the UE263, which mentions repeatedly in there that meter reader fees are included in the budget that you approved. And you've always known that. So how could you take an application from Pacific Power that had an extortionary $36 additional punitive extortion fee and approve that and think that somehow that's justified? They're still getting all of the funds that you approve for meter reading fees. So all they're doing is reducing their routes. They're not increasing them. They're saving money. There is no financial justification for that $36 fee. It's illegal, and it can be proven in court. And you've put yourselves in a position of liability personally by violating the Constitution and breaking the law. On top of that, you're now passing the buck to Pacific Power to ask questions that you should be answering, and as you admitted, have been proposed to you for years now about this issue, and you keep sidestepping, and now you're going to pass the buck to Pacific Power and ask them questions. I want everybody in the audience and at home to write down the UE-263, because that is the proof right there we've been looking for. And when you say, well, why did New Mexico reject smart meters? I don't like your wording on this, but that's the truth. They rejected them, because they allowed public input and third-party input and you did not. They were every claim by the power company was disproved and shown to be false. It does not benefit the people. The fees are extortionary. And so they did not allow that intrusion on their people. They protected their people. And that's the difference between Kansas, Massachusetts, and New Mexico, because they did that. And when you don't allow public input, you don't allow hearings, you've been denying it, you won't listen to people, this is what happens. Everybody we talk to says, I couldn't afford the fee. They he said, don't I already pay for meter reading fees? But I can't afford this. So you're rolling these out using extortionary means. So if a person gets a meter and wants it taken off, and you say, well, it's going to cost $169 to take it off, that's now illegal also because you put it on other illegal extortion. So you've got a really big financial problem here. Is my time up? Yes. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry my, my timer didn't work. No, that's okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much for your comments. You. Um, we do, as you noted, have a number of those questions uh, on the agenda for discussion later today. Uh, let's go to Mr. Souza. <coughs> ORS 164075. A person commits the crime of extortion when the person complete compels or induces another person and person also uh, incorporates with corporations as well and that a person to either deliver property or services to the person or to a third person or refrain from reporting unlawful conduct to a law enforcement agency by uh, instilling in the other person a fear that if the property or services are not delivered or if the unlawful conduct is reported the actor or a third person will in the future unlawful unlawfully cause physical injury to some person, unlawfully cause damage, <clears throat> testify falsely to provide false information or withhold testimony or information with respect to another's legal claim. ORS 163275 called coercion, coercion. A person commits the crime of coercion when the person compels or induces another person to engage 
in conduct from which the other person has a legal right to abstain or to abstain from engaging in conduct which the other person has a legal right to engage by means of instilling in the person a fear that if the other person reframes from the conduct compelled or induced or engages in conduct contrary to the compulsion or inducement the actor of another will unlawfully cause physical injury to some person unlawfully cause uh, uh, injury to some animal unlawfully cause damage to property and engage in conduct cons cons constituting a crime this is exactly a textbook example of what Pacific Power is doing right now to the people, to myself, and you folks up there are condoning and supporting this. These are crimes. These are felonies, right? On the, these are felonies, uh, Class A and Class B. And if this continues, the felonies have already been committed, and I can guarantee you that you people will be held accountable when the time comes for condoning and supporting this, these crimes of coercion and extortion. Our Fourth Amendment right has already been been violated on top of it. My wife is very highly sensitive to EMFs, and we're all, I don't have a smart meter right now, thank God, but there I'm getting extorted, I'm getting threatened of shut off and everything else right now because I refuse to go down for this insidious Agenda 21, which is all part of the Agenda 21 on the whole world. So I think you people need to wake up and really do the research, because you will be held accountable for supporting and condoning these crimes of extortion and coercion. <clears throat> thank, thank you. you Mr. Susan.